Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I'm going to break down this animation project on war scene created in After Effects. So this is the illustration I created for this animation project. So I have created two missile defense systems and a signal capturing device. For the missile defense system, I have taken references from the THAR and the S-400 missile defense systems and I have made two variations of it. Then to prepare the illustration for animation in After Effects, I have separated each of the objects in a separate illustrator file. So here in the case of missile defense systems, as there are two variations of it, so I have kept each of the missile defense system in a separate illustrator file. Then the signal capturing device in a separate file and the background elements in a separate file. So that when I import it in After Effects, I get separate composition for each of these objects. So now let's check out the missile defense system animation. So in the missile defense system, first the missile launchers takes its position and then shoots missile. So the initial part is done simply using the rotation keyframes. When the missile launcher is getting into position, when the missile defense system is getting into position, I've added a slight anticipation as well by rotating it down a little bit. And even over here, I have added a slight overshoot and offset the keyframes to add a little bit of follow through. After the missile defense system gets into position, it fires missiles. So during the missile fire, there are some gunfire effect in front and back side of this missile launcher so for the fire animation first i have added a circle and then added scale up animation and from in between i have decreased the opacity to zero and after that i have added a simple glow effect to it and other than that i have added three illustrations of the fire ship so these are three different shape of a fire flame so i've added it for only one frame for different ships and this is how it looks and at last i have also added a glow effect in all of these three fire ships now after the missile fire there is a recoil so for that i have added some rotation keyframes in this missile launcher as well as i have added some position and rotation keyframe in the body of this whole defense system to add some suspension effect during the fire, I have also added some movement in the antenna on top of this defense system. So for that, I have added few pins and converted the pins into bone layer and then added rotation keyframes on these bone layers. And then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Now let's check out the missile propulsion fire. So for that, I have added few circles. So I've added circles and then animated the position property and the scale property in a loop. And this is how it looks. And other than that, I have added few strokes and then added trim path on it and adjusted the start and the end value and the offset value and animated the whole thing in a loop. And this is how it looks. And after that, I have duplicated the circles multiple times. So there is one white, then one yellow and then one orange colored circle. And same with the stroke. I have just duplicated this circles and the strokes with different colors. And then I have added an adjustment layer. And on top of it, I have added a simple glow effect. And after that, I have added a Gaussian blur and kept the blurness of around two. And then I have added labels. So what it does is it is going to slightly blend up the ship and we're going to get this effect. So if we turn off this effect and the motion blur, you can see we can see this shape clearly. But once we turn on the motion blur and this two effects, it is going to blend up the ship and make it look more interesting. To animate the smoke trails here I have used the particle playground effect so to track the smoke trail throughout the path of the missile i have repositioned this position under cannon so with this point you can track this position and reposition the cannon and like this i have frame by frame i have repositioned this origin point of this particle effect and then once it reaches the maximum peak point I have decreased the opacity of this layer to zero 
and one important thing is that when you are using particle playground effect by default it is not going to be circular it is going to have square shaped particles so to change it to circle shape you have to add a circle shape and under layer map you have to select that circle shape and like this you can change the shape of the particles so after the missile fire it collides with an enemy missile and there is an explosion so to animate the explosion first i have added few circle shapes and then and then scaled it up and animated the opacity property of the layer from 100% to 0. After that I have duplicated this shape multiple times and then I have added a stroke and then added trim path and then adjusted the start end and the offset value and after that I have added glow effect in all of these layers and then duplicated these layers multiple times and this is how it looks. After the blast, there is a smoke spread out. So for that, I have used CC's particle world. So I have added the effect and animated the birth size from 0 to 4. And then animated the birth rate from 6 to 0. And then to change the particle shapes like this, you have to go under the particle. And then under particle type, you have to select the textured square and then you can add a texture so for this one i have used a circle shape and then use this circle shape as the texture layer to animate the top portion of this signal capturing device i have first converted this layer into 3d and then animated the y of the rotation in a loop and after that i have added some extrusion depth to add that 3d effect so under geometry you can get an option called extrusion depth if the layer is 3d and if you don't get it you have to go in composition settings and you have to change the 3d renderer by default it should be in classic 3d you have to change it to cinema 4d so once you change the renderer you can get this option of the extrusion depth under geometry options and by increasing the extrusion depth you can add the 3d edges so for the whole scene i have added a zoom out effect and have timed the zoom out exactly same with this missile launch so when the missile launches the zoom out starts and it continues to zoom out till it hits the other missile so these are some of the most important techniques i used throughout this animation project now if you want to learn some individual technique in more details then do comment down below i would be happy to make a separate tutorial on that particular effect or technique so that is it for this video i hope you learned something valuable out of it which you can use in your future projects so if you like the video make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubts regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time Make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.